Hi guys, it is Thursday, February 18th. It's still the morning, I'm working right now, but I'm taking a little break to make my smoothie for the morning. This week, I'm not doing the same thing as last week where I did a smoothie for breakfast and lunch. I'm just doing a smoothie for breakfast now, and then I have a normal lunch, well, healthy but normal, and then a normal dinner. You're also supposed to do the snacks in between too, but I haven't been doing those really. Sometimes I'll have a snack, but um, yeah, I've just been doing the smoothie, lunch, and dinner. And then after dinner, I have like one of my sugar-free puddings. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically it. So I'm about to make my smoothie now, but there has been a development since the last time I vlogged. Ben and I got engaged. What? We got engaged on Saturday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. I think that was the date. I'm double checking. Yes, Saturday, February 13th was the date. I was not expecting it at all totally shocked and now we're engaged so let the wedding planning commence <laughs> so yeah that's a big life update i'm gonna make my smoothie now <laughs> and continue on with my work day the smoothie i'm making today is the raspberry lemon drop smoothie i don't know if i made this last week or not but if i did sorry if this is a repeat because this is one of my faves it is one cup of frozen raspberries. These look a little weird, but that's okay. 12 raw cashews. Three tablespoons lemon juice. Six ounces fat-free plain Greek yogurt. I don't know how much that is in cups. Let me check. Three quarter cups. Three quarter cup ice chips or ice cubes. happen there but that was weird these bowls just fell out of my cabinet they knocked my cookbook over they got glass everywhere I think this place is haunted it is lunchtime now I'm in my car now on my way to pick up a salad for lunch I've been trying to keep my lunches healthier not that they were really ever that unhealthy I would usually eat like a sandwich or something like that but I just feel like a salad is lighter not as much carbs at the salad place now got my mask on and my hat on I feel like if I walked in a store like a year ago like this people would think I was gonna rob the place but now it's just normal the things we have normalized over the past year got my salad and I'm ready to go it is later on now and I'm about to make dinner, but I got an Amazon package, so I wanted to open it because, you know, it's the only excitement in my day, really. So, let's open it together. It's like Christmas! Sometimes I order things and I don't even remember what it is that I ordered. <laughs> this time I do remember. I got... An exercise ball that means blown up, but like this is how it came. <laughs> I got this small exercise ball because in Pure Bar they use this small ball. This isn't the Pure Bar one, but I read in the reviews that it's a good dupe for it. So I got this, but I have to figure out how to blow it up. So I think that was like $10. And then I also got this Thai ground chili spice because I've been making recently this Pao recipe in Chrissy Teigen's Cravings book and it's really good. I made it twice now, but the first time I made it, I couldn't find the serrano peppers that you're supposed to use or Thai chili peppers. You can use either of them. So I just use ground red pepper flakes and that was pretty good. I thought it was pretty spicy. But then the second time I made it, I found the serrano pepper, but then I thought it wasn't spicy enough. 
And then I was looking it up and people were saying that this Thai chili spice is spicy like it is in the restaurant, which is kind of what I'm going for. So yeah, that's basically the only reason I got this spice is to make that Grapel recipe. But I honestly don't even know how much to use. I guess I'll just add a little bit at a time, but that's for another day. I'm not making that for dinner tonight. Tonight, I'm making another recipe from Chrissy Teigen's Cravings book. <laughs> Just been going to town on that. I'm making fish tacos. So I got tilapia And there's a bunch of ingredients. I'll walk you through it. So far I've made a few recipes from that book and they have all been pretty good. I made the grapal. I made peppers spicy clams and pasta I made the brussels sprouts appetizer and then this isn't from her original cravings book, but I also made um the spicy miso pasta, I think is what it's called. Something like that. I think that's from her second book, but I found the recipe online and that was also good. So, so far, all the recipes I've enjoyed making and they haven't been like super hard to make. So, that's what I'm going for. That's what I like. So, I'm going to get started on the fish tacos now. Ben is currently at school for one of his classes. So, he'll be here later, but I'm going to make fish tacos and he can eat later when he gets home so first of all let me show you the recipe i'm using here is the recipe fish tacos i think it says skillet chard fish tacos there's a picture here we go first it says to make the spicy mayo in a bowl stir together the mayo and sriracha sauce so it's a half cup mayo and a fourth cup sriracha sauce And that's the spicy mayo. That was easy enough. Cook the fish in a bowl. Combine chili powder, powder, garlic, salt, pepper, one and a half teaspoons of oil. Then you rub this mixture, which looks like poop, all over the fish. I'm gonna take my ring off for that. Here's what the fish looks like with the mixture on it. I think I might have added too much to that one on the left, <laughs> but we'll see how it is. Fish is cooking. It smells really good. It must be the spice mixture that's on it. Okay, so I've cut up some red cabbage, radishes, scallions, avocado, and then I made this sauce, which is also in the recipe book. It's called Pepper's Hot Green Pepper Sauce, which is on page 113. There's the recipe for it. It's actually really simple to make and it smells pretty spicy. It looks weird, but it smells good. And then I have the um, spicy mayo I made earlier, my fish, which the direction said to flake. So I just did that with my hands. And now I'm gonna assemble the tacos. This is actually kind of taking longer than I thought it would. But I think it's one of those things that if you did again, it would be easier because you know what you're doing. All right, assembling the tacos. Spread one tablespoon of the spicy mayo on the tortilla, then top with fish and put the other toppings on. Then drizzle with the hot green pepper sauce and garnish with cilantro, but I'm not doing that because I don't really like cilantro that much i don't like it when it's just on top of something if that makes sense i like it when it's in things but not when it's just you know by itself and there's the finished product they look and smell pretty good I'll let you know how they are. Got myself a lime LaCroix. I feel like this doesn't look right. Ready to try these tacos. Those are really good. They taste very fresh. They're just the right amount of spicy. I just spilled LaCroix on me. They're very flavorful. Usually fish tacos are very bland, but these have a lot of flavor to them. Um, this angle is pretty bad for me, but Ben is back now. He ate the tacos. How did you like the tacos? 
It's very good, very spicy. What would you give it out of 10? Probably an eight. An eight? Wow. Second of all, what's your opinion on the engagement? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a 10. A 10 out of 10? 10? 10 out of 10. Tacos are an eight out of 10. Engagement, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10.